let's look at the solutions of arithmetic bytes for today in a bulb factory the production of bulbs increased by 40 percent and productivity per worker that is the number of bulbs made by each worker in a given time period increased by 33.33 percent find the percentage change in the number of workers working in the factory okay so there are three parameters production productivity and workers so previously if the production was 5x new production is 7x because it has increased by 40 percent productivity earlier if it was 3a now it is 4a because it has increased by 33.33 percent workers if initially they were m now they are n so productivity into number of workers should give me the total production so what we have is 3a into m is equal to 5x and 4a into n is equal to 7x I finally only need the percentage change in the number of workers. So I need M by N. So I can divide the first equation by the second equation. A and A gone, X and X gone. I get M by N is equal to 20 by 21. So previously you had 20 workers. Now you have 21 workers. So the increase, the increase is of one. So how much the percentage change will be? 1 by 20 or equal to 5%. Therefore, the answer to the question is option C. Next question. The percentage of milk in three solutions, S1, S2, S3, are in geometric progression. Okay. In that order. If we mix S1, S2, and S3 with their volumes in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4, we obtain a solution containing 32% milk. However, if we mix S1, S2, S3 with their volumes in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1, we obtain a solution containing 22% milk. What is the percentage of milk in solution S1? Okay. So I'm saying let the purities or the percentage of milk be A, AR, and AR square. These are the three purities in solution S1, S2, and S3. In the first storyline, they're telling me two units of purity A plus three units of purity AR plus four units of AR square is equal to 32% of nine units because two units, three units and four units. This is what we are getting. In the second setup, what we have is three units of A plus two units of AR plus one unit of AR square is equal to 22% of six units because three units, two units, one unit, six units. This is what we have. We have to finally find out the value of A. We have to finally find out the value of A. But when you look at these two expressions, what is easier to calculate is R. You can divide the first equation by the second equation and you will be able to cancel out 100 and 100 entirely. This will become 3. This will become 2. This will cancel out to give me 11. This will cancel out to give me 8. You will be able to also cancel out A from each of these terms. And now we have 11 into 2. So 22 plus 33R plus 44R square is equal to 24 into 3. So 72 plus 48R plus 24R square. Taking them all to one side, we get 20 R square minus 15 R minus 50 is equal to zero. 
divide this entire thing by five. Divide this entire thing by five. We will get four r square minus three r minus ten is equal to zero. So for a product of forty, I have to find two numbers which differ by three. The answer will be eight and five. So it will turn to four r minus eight into r plus five. Will it? Uh, have I done it correctly? Have I done it correctly? Doesn't seem like it. I should do it in steps. Four r square minus eight r plus five r minus ten is equal to zero. Okay, so we will have four r common r minus two plus five common r minus two. Is equal to zero or four r plus five into r minus two is equal to zero. Now the interesting thing to notice from here we can get two potential values of r. R could be equal to minus five by four or r could be equal to two. But we reject this case r equal to minus five by four because r is the common ratio for purities. You cannot have Either of these turning out to be negative, any of these three values cannot turn out to be negative. So the negative value for R is rejected. So R is equal to two. If R is indeed equal to two, now we can take either of these equations and find out the value for A. I'm going with one at the bottom. We've got three A, so three A plus two A R or four A plus A into four. Plus four a is equal to twenty two by hundred into six. So eleven a. This LHS turns to eleven a. Cancel, cancel. We get a is equal to twelve percent. And that is what the question was. What is the percentage of milk or in solution S one? Answer will be twelve. Moving on, shopkeeper increase the price of an article by twenty five percent in peak season as compared to off season. Okay, but the shopkeeper also gave a discount of eighteen hundred on the article, which was equal to twenty five percent of the price of the article in peak season. What is the price of the article in off season? Okay, now look at this. Uh, in the off season, let there be some price. In peak season, new price, and then reduced price. In peak season. In peak season, price had increased by twenty five percent. So if this was four, this was four, it became five. At the same time, the shopkeeper also gave a discount of rupees eighteen hundred on article, which was equal to twenty five percent of the price of the article. So if this was four y, if this was four y. It came down to three y. It came down to three y. Okay, so I'm combining these pieces of information. Peak price has to be a multiple of four. Has to be a multiple of five. So twenty. So four to five. So in off season, if the price was fifteen, it went up to twenty, and then the reduced price in the peak season comes down to fifteen. Now see what we have been given as information is. There was a discount of eighteen hundred. Here the discount is one. Here the discount is one, but in the actual numbers that we are supposed to get, this is eighteen hundred. This here is eighteen hundred. So eighteen hundred is one. What will this sixteen be? One to eighteen hundred. You multiply it by eighteen hundred. So sixteen into eighteen hundred should be my answer. Sixteen into eighteen hundred should be our answer. Okay. 
sorry 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 what am i doing how useless the reduction here is not of 1800 reduction here is of 1 minute reduction here is of 5 no from 20 to 15 the reduction is of 5 so if that 5 is represented by 1800 Then sixteen will be represented by what? So five is eighteen hundred. Five by eighteen hundred should be equal to sixteen by. Let's call this figure A. This is what we finally need. So A will be equal to sixteen into eighteen hundred by five, or sixteen into three sixty. Sixteen into thirty six is five seventy six. So finally, value of A. Will turn out to be five seven six zero. Price of the article in the off season is five seven six zero. Okay, moving on. Two quantities of rice, the premium quality and the average quality of rice, are mixed and sold at rupees one sixty eight per kg. If the ratio of premium quality and average quality rice mixed was five is to seven, then the profit percentage on this twelve percent. However, if the ratio of mixing is reversed, that is, they are mixed in the ratio seven is to five, the profit percentage earned is twenty percent. Find the average cost of the price of premium quality and average quality rice. Okay, this is very similar to the question we did yesterday. All that you have to take care of is CP in the first case is how much? CP in the first case, if we have to calculate, we know. Let this be X. So one hundred twelve by hundred x is equal to one sixty eight, or this gives me x is equal to one fifty. In the second case, cost price is how much? Twenty percent profit. No, so six by five of y is equal to one sixty eight, or y is equal to one forty. Now see, when we were calculating CP in the first case, the two rice was mixed in the ratio five is to seven. In the second case, rice was mixed in the ratio seven is to five. If both these quantities of rice were mixed, if both these quantities of rice were mixed, would I get call, uh, both the rice in the ratio one is to one? If both these quantities were mixed, one 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 kg of first variant and one kg of second variant, we would get one is to one. so all i have to do is to find the average of the cost of premium quality and the average quality to be 150 plus 140 by 2 because this is price for 1 kg this is price for 1 kg so for 2 kgs we are paying in total 290 so for 1 kg the price will turn out to be 145 which is the answer to the question this is In a way, an extension of yesterday's question, where the ratio was A is to B and then B is to A, we simply have to take care of prices there. Moving on, two traders A and B bought goods from the wholesale market and sold it to the retail market. Interestingly, both traders made equal profit percentage on their respective transactions. Also, the price at which A sold his goods is equal to the price at which B bought his goods. Okay, so let me see A, B. CP, SP, the price at which A sold his goods. If this is X, A is equal to the price at which B bought his goods. This is X. If the ratio of the price at which B sold his goods, this, and the price at which A bought his goods is twenty-seven is to twelve. So if this is twenty-seven Y, this is twelve Y. What is the profit percentage of A? i know in both these cases profit percentage is same profit percentage is same which means the ratio of sp is to cp is the same so x by 12y is equal to 27y by x or x square is equal to 23324y square or x is equal to 18y So this is eighteen y. This is eighteen y. The profit in this case, there is an increase of half. So profit in this case is fifty percent. Here also profit is fifty percent. So answer to the question: What is the profit percentage of A? Should be fifty percent. 
that will be all for the arithmetic bytes of the day hopefully you learned something